plays a very large role and, and maybe an oversized role. Uh, now, now it, it's clear that uh, economic relations are pervasive to society. They, they happen all the time. From the moment you wake up, uh, everything that you uh, do in your, in your household, you at some point had to pay something for it. So you had to uh, choose which, which products to buy and in which markets. And, and then you still have subscriptions and you have a job. And, and that job is part of a job market and, and so on and so forth. So uh, uh, there's, a, there's a very uh, uh, unscapable uh, role of, of economic relations to our lives. They're, they're there all the time. Now, does that mean that economics as a, as a discipline uh, should uh, similarly be as pervasive. Uh, this is what economists would like to say, uh, and, and, and that, uh, you know, the type of uh, logic that uh, uh, applies or, or uh, uh, dictates the relationships in uh, things that are strictly uh, economic, uh, exchanges and, and, and the marketplace, that should also apply to uh, every other corner of, of our lives. Uh, and, and, and that I think it's, a, it's a, an exaggeration uh, going beyond the, uh, what the uh, natural and, and expected role of economics as a discipline should be, which is to help understand how economic relations are part of life, but there are other things <laughs> to, to life, right? So I, I just said that you, you, you buy things and you have a job and, and, and you interact with, uh, with other agents and markets, but that's not the only uh, purpose of, of why uh, you wake up in the morning uh, and, 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 and live your life. So, so there's the other aspects of life that uh, should not have uh, so much of, a, of the economic logic and the economic uh, uh, um, way of organizing relations. So uh, I think the question was, uh, uh, does, it, uh, does it play a positive role? So was that part of the question? And, and, and I think it, 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 it plays a positive role uh, as long as it's supported by uh, other disciplines that also uh, help you understand what what's going on in, in, in all of these interactions and, and so so obvious other choices are uh, history uh, you know economics should be uh, very much grounded uh, in history uh, because uh, these uh, decisions and markets and governments and, and uh, um, uh, economic uh, uh, interactions and relationships don't occur uh, in, in a historical vacuum. They're not all the same. They don't repeat. So this is not like uh, physics where you can set up a, 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 an experimental uh, control uh, laboratory where, uh, you know, all the conditions are the same and you just repeat the experiment uh, many, many times. That doesn't exist in economics. The experiments, they happen uh, in uh, historical time. Uh, and, and, and most often they just occur once and, and you have to follow the trajectory of the experiments to, to see what the developments are. So, so history is important. Uh, the, the, the whole of, of uh, social sciences and political sciences, uh, uh, psychology, uh, there's all sorts of uh, insights from, from psychology that, that uh, should be taken into account in, in economics. Uh, and, and are not because they uh, are in conflict with the more abstract, uh, like we we're talking before, the more abstract parts of economics, which uh, when, when it started uh, to, to be formalized in the 19th century, was a bit more like a, an, an introspective uh, 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 
question uh, how how should I uh, behave uh, in in face of uh, uncertainty or in face of, of decisions? So, it, so it's decision making, but but from the point of view of a highly individualized and, and introspective uh, decision maker, uh, thinking you know in, in in ideal circumstances, how how would I operate? So Pareto and, and others that were investigating these questions, they 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 were like that. It, it was not how do human beings actually uh, make decisions, which is the domain of, of psychology. And when those two things uh, clash by, by research and behavior uh, economics in the 20th century, uh, most economists uh, decided to ignore that and say that no, we're still going to be uh, uh, operating in an as if uh, situation as if uh, humans were rational, as if uh, they had full information, as if they didn't have any biases. Uh, so, so the, the, there should be a bigger role uh, for this. Uh, uh, other uh, disciplines that also uh, are as pervasive, if not more pervasive, than than economics in our daily lives, right? I, I painted a picture that everything that we do throughout the day uh, uh, is is uh, related to economic uh, 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 interactions, uh, but but even more so, it, it has to to do with uh, the way that our minds are wired. Even before you do an economic interaction, you have. Uh, a, 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 a way of, of making decisions, a way of uh, evaluating uh, risk and evaluating uncertainty, and, and that sort of precedes uh, economics. So you need to understand that as well. So uh, I, I would say uh, the positive role of economics needs to be uh, understood in conjunction with all this uh, um, uh, similarly important and pervasive uh, disciplines. And, and if it's not, then, then it becomes a, a negative, oversized, uh, rigid, and, and, and too um, insular way, too uh, uh, insular way of uh, uh, trying to understand the phenomenon, which is a very complex phenomenon and should not be understood by economics alone.